As per the current reports, China is developing two additional Type 055 warships, even as the country's largest and most advanced destroyer, Lhasa, is conducting a series of drills in the Yellow Sea. The Type 055 class is considered China's answer to the United States Navy's AEGIS cruisers. They serve a key role in guarding China's aircraft carriers as they are large and heavily armed. In general, the Type 055 is now equivalent to the Ticonderoga class Aegis cruisers of the United States Navy. Considered as the world's biggest surface combatants, the Type 055 ships weigh around 13,000 tons. They are roughly a quarter larger than the Aegis cruisers of the United States Navy, while reports suggest that China's second type of 055 ship, Lhasa, is combat ready. The stealth-guided missile destroyer has been conducting a series of maneuvers to evaluate its operating capabilities over the last week. Talking about specifications, upgraded radar systems are used in conjunction with universal vertical launch systems, which may carry a variety of warheads including missiles for air defense, anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare. The VLS of the Type 055 contains fewer cells than the Ticonderoga class. The Type 055 has nearly 112 VLS in comparison to Ticonderoga's 122. The weapon loadout, on the other hand, is vastly different since it must be tailored to the needs of the user. That said, the Chinese ship is equipped with the HQ-9 long-range surface-to-air missile as well as the HQ-16 medium-range SAM and possibly a quad-packed DK-10As. The DK-10A is modelled on the PL-12 air-to-air missile and would serve as an intermediate-range air defence missile comparable to the RIM-162 evolved Sea Sparrow missile used by the United States Navy. Likewise, the Chinese YU-8 anti-submarine missile is comparable to the VLASROC used by the US Navy. But it should be noted that both ships have certain distinct features. Anti-surface warfare is a top priority for Chinese ships and they employ the YJ-18 supersonic anti-ship missile. These massive, sophisticated missiles stand in stark contrast to the Ticonderoga class's harpoons. The harpoons can only be carried in groups of eight, whereas the Chinese ships can reportedly carry a large number of YJ-18s. Nevertheless, China's Type 055 destroyers may be seen as a strong rival to American warships of the same class, something the Asian giant would like to use to project its naval powers in the Indo-Pacific region.